Hey everybody, this is Josh. Welcome back. We've got the Cold Steel American Lawman. It is a... Like a clip point... Folder? Uh, tactical in design, G10 handle, AUS, a, a stainless steel for the blade. It's got a black coating on it. It's got ambidextrous thumb stud, and it looks to me like you get two pocket clips so you can make the knife ambidextrous instead of just going one way or the other, which is cool, especially if you use this as a backup knife. Then you can have one of your other knives that isn't ambidextrous on the other pocket as your primary and go to this one for heavier duty stuff because it's a pretty beefy knife. They got, uh, if you watch any of the videos showing the triad lock, they've got it supporting 150 pounds, and that's the mini. This one is significantly larger than the mini. So, I mean, pretty serious blade. Um, earlier we went through and we cut uh, cardboard, we cut paper, and we cut shipping cardboard. But I know that you're not going to believe me unless I do it right in front of you. So, I'm going to do it right in front of you. This is the, probably not patented, but I'm the first one I've ever seen do it. I folded a sheet of 20 pound paper, and my paper cut test is actually four sheets. Fold it twice, guess what you get? Four sheets of paper. So, this is basically uh, 80 pound paper. And it's even more difficult because you got to line up the sheets of paper. Okay. Oop, only got three that time. You see how easily it does that. It's insanely sharp. Okay, cardboard. That, I know you're not going to believe me. So, I'll just fail that one. Epically. You believe me yet? No? Okay. Tip test. Tip goes in easily enough. Tip goes through easily enough, and tip, once penetrated, freaking cleaves it. Okay, now this end of the paper or cardboard is getting a little bit beat up and probably not a very good test, so we'll go ahead and use this other side. It's got no cuts, nothing in it. This thing cuts, shipping cardboard. You know what? That side's kind of messed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. You believe me now? Cold steel. American Lawman. This is a roughly $90 tactical folder. Um, I think it's civilian legal at three and a half inches. Yeah, we don't really care about that up here in Alaska. We carry big knives, you know, as you know, we got bears and stuff. Um, if I had to rate this knife, and I do, I uh, will give it a 4.75 out of 5, or I can't do the math, so we'll call it a 8.9 out of 10. It is nearly perfect. Um, it's really easy to grip. It's really easy to use. What it isn't is an ergonomic closer, and that might just be because I am not used to it yet. Can't close it one-handed, but it's a little bit slow compared to my Benchmade. I mean, I can open the Benchmade and close it faster than you can say, oh, shit, my, you know, tongue is on the floor. This is not. Takes a fair amount of pressure to get it out, a fair amount of pressure to get it closed. Well, if you have enough dexterity, that's not a problem. you got to remember, if you fumble this thing and you close it on your thumb, you're probably going to lose a chunk of skin, so... Be really careful learning that. I'm an expert with knives. So, I'm pretty safe. Um, this was Josh. We reviewed the Cold Steel American Lawman. Um, this is a yet another fantastic Cold Steel knife. I am actually a dealer of Cold Steel knives, and I am reviewing them probably more stringently than I would if I wasn't. So don't even be like, oh, he sells those knives. They don't give me any discount. 
All right. Beyond the dealer pricing. Peace out.